We got, we got a Frenchie and some wolves. Got get, a carcass. Got a carcass of a prey animal. And this Frenchie uh, appears to be the most dominant pack member. Holy cow. Oh, Holy cow. <laughs> that, that was it. So we got the Frenchie. We got the wolf pack taking around the carcass. The Frenchie's out there with them. And the Frenchie is basically uh, dominating, correcting other members of the pack. Most likely because they went for the prey before he did. French is getting it. But uh, a couple of things we're looking here. When we first, well, first he's attacking this this wolf. You see that wolf's tail mm -hmm. tuck, and then we see the wolf's uh, submissive grin. But there is one wolf. It's this brownish, orange wolf. His tail tucks right as the camera's going past him. It's one on the left, right here. Yeah, the one seeing. on the left. Yeah. yeah. So right, uh, we'll do it one more time. He's coming into the butt right butt here. Right there, yeah. He's the he's the orange, brownish one on the right side of the screen. Right here, we see his tail start to tuck. Boom! So we're seeing that submissive. Also, we see his ears kind of tuck back a little bit. So he's going submissive, but he's still going for the for the prey. <laughs> you got this guy up here. He looks kind of cute. <laughs> <laughs> he's got the cute face on, but that mm -hmm. submissive uh, ears going back too. All the submissive ones are like, eh, he can only correct one right. at a time. Right, so right, right. Once he starts it. correcting them, they Take just, your just running for yeah, it. Yeah. <laughs> Moving on, we got the beach day going on. <laughs> Jumping up at something. What is that? Oh, it's, he's got a dog. He's got a dog in his arm. I think the dog's attacking him. No, there's I a there's tell. a dog attacking oh. him. He's got a dog oh, in his arm. He's holding his dog. He's holding a dog, oh, and there's shoot. a dog attacking him. And there's a dog's owner chasing uh, him. I got to see it again. <laughs> Good God. Let's see what happens here. That must be the owner. Chasing off the uh, out, Spike, white and black dog. White and black dog's having a good time. Is he chasing him off or trying to get no, him? He's like, go, go. Uh. Then the guy, what, the original guy, has a dog. Oh, he's yelling something. at him. He's pissed. <laughs> <laughs> Look, he, the dog's coming back from more. He's oh, like, yeah. I'm circling oh, back. He's going, oh, yeah, he's going back. I want to see it time. again. Got the beach. He's we got this guy dog, holding okay. a dog in his, in his arm. A little black and white dog jumping up. He's in the waves. I think his little dog went into the water that he had in his arms. The black and white dog didn't like the water, so he comes out. Now he's running around. There's a guy chasing him, yelling at him. This dog don't care. He's, up, he's just doing his thing. He's like, I'm going to go off over here now. <laughs> then the guy from the water. I don't know if that's the owner. That's probably just a random might, dude. Yeah, he might just because he's pointing at the dog like, get out of here. Right, right. Then you might got the guy in the water with his original dog yelling. And then the black and white dog goes down the beach a little bit more. Then he just starts cutting back to go back to the dude with the dog in his arm. Bro. <laughs> what I would do if I was in this situation, if I was the guy, like, first of all, if I'm the guy with the little dog, he's just kind of holding his little dog up, running away. So now we're just instigating the black and white dog's prey drive. So I would, and he's got a dangling leash. So I'd take that leash, I'd slap this black and white dog in the face if I had to, or maybe take my leash, wrap it around this black and white dog like a slip lead until I could find the owner. But let's say he does get away, the black and white dog does get away, I'm just going to be keeping an eye on him, seeing mm -hmm. if he's coming again. But if you pick up your dog and you run, you're just basically instigating prey drive, so that aggressor dog or that black and white dog in this case is just going to start running after you faster, mm -hmm. honestly. And that might be why he's circling back around. He's like, oh, that was a fun That was chase. fun. <laughs> right, right, exactly. All right, now we got a... Um, got a back porch. Back porch. We got a grill. Patio type scenario. We got a grill. We got some bushes. There. We got somebody oh, running. Gosh. Oh, gosh. Oh. Holy cow. Oh, this dude's freaking. This dog's Dang. amped. This dog's amped, dude. He gets up to him. I don't know. Is, is that, that Ridgeback or is that his hackles? That's his hackles. Dude. Are you okay? Me? Are you okay? Who, me? Yeah. No, the other yes, person no. that was running and screaming for their life. <laughs> Holy cow. So this guy's running. The dog sounds crazy. He's got his hackles up. Tails up. This dog's, this dog's chasing this dude. But the dog looks like he gets up to it, but doesn't yeah, look yeah. like he makes any contact. He kind of runs off Are to the okay? right. Me? Are you okay? Yeah. Yes, bro. I <laughs> Might be playing some games. Maybe. Yeah, well, this dog's chasing you. He's got his hackles up. He's got his tail up, so he's aroused. So, again, running away from the dog, you're instigating the dog's prey drive. Right? Turning and facing the dog, you're using some like spatial the pressure. The dog could have got him here. Right. But the he dog could have got him. not didn't. to. Right, right. The dog ran so off to the right. Better bet than this dog just, just stand your ground. Yeah. 
stand your ground, face the dog, you know, be kind of that intimidating, that intimidating force. I mean, ain't a guarantee you ain't going to get bit, but. Right. Not a guarantee, but that's better than right. running. Yeah. Because yeah. running now you're instigating prey. Yeah. Drives. We got a, we got a bear. Now we got a bear on a wall. And there's two. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Mama bear. The dogs are attacking the bear. Ah, oh, lee, there's a whole bunch of dogs. Oh God. Oh shoot. Oh shoot. Where dude. is this? This, this lady's is, hardcore. This is Puerto she just Rico, a dude. Bear. Yeah, this is Puerto Rico, dude. Golly, this bear's whapping I mean, these he, dogs. Yeah, he gets a good hit on that dog. Yeah. He slams its head. He's about to get this little small dog. That's when the mama runs out there and mama bears yeah. this bear. Mama bear mama's mama the mama bear. Mama bears the bear. Yeah. <laughs> picks her dog up and runs. Dude. Then she picks up the dogs and runs, dude. Well, that's a mama bear with a baby bear. I mean, all these dogs run out there, dude. That's a good whap on that black yeah, dog. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's like, rrr, rrr. he he was done. The little dogs are just going crazy. Well, I this can't mama, say this mama bear, mama, mama, human, mama bear, human mama, mama bear runs up and spears this bear with her arm. I'm dude. not gonna lie, I can't say that I recommend that tactic, but it worked out for hey, her. You got to do what you got to do because she doesn't have a good recall. No, obviously she can't tell these dogs to come. All these dogs are attacking this bear in pack mentality. Golly, dude! She just shoves the bear I off. I think she took the bears by surprise. Oh yeah, the bears focused. See, on the bears dogs. coming back. Oh, he's he's taking off. off taking baby. Off. Good God! Hey, the lady did a good job. You do what you got to do. First thing to do is have a good recall with your dog. Oh, there's two baby bears. Because you never know what's going to be in your freaking yard. Yeah, apparently. And then whenever it comes down, the shit hits the fan. Hey, do what you got to do. You know, shit hits the fan. Dude. What are you going to do? You going to take action, or are you going to are you going to stand around? I'm taking action. I mean, this mama bear is taking action. I mean, mama bears with their cubs are next level intense. Right. That, that bear whapped that black yeah. dog. Yeah. Simba's first time. All right. We got a dog in a kennel, and then we got a dog with a muzzle. I'm meeting his new friend. Okay. Apparently, we want them to be friends. It's oh. a good way to start. There's a, there's a Frenchie in the kennel that's just kind of like sitting there. Yeah. I don't know what the goal is here. Oh, it's Frenchies. out of the kennel now. Okay, so what we're doing Now we got him tied off to a tree I'll just pause this real quick So what we're doing is we got this uh, big, bigger dog With a muzzle and a harness We got the Frenchie that started off in the kennel Bigger dog goes I'm assuming the bigger dog has dog problems Bigger dog goes up, pushes the kennel over Frenchie just basically falls out Frenchie's just waltzing around This big dog pulling towards the Frenchie The owner's letting it pull towards the Frenchie There's lots of tension we got the muzzle, we got the harness, we got the leash, everything's tight. So tensions are high. Now, it looks like the Frenchie's on a leash and we have the bigger dog tied off to a tree or something. And we're trying to let them kind of like meet face to face. And the Frenchie, uh, the big dog's got his tail up. Okay, so he's being dominant. We're saying good boy when we're not being good boys. Now this Frenchie's like getting amped. This big dog's having a hard time breathing and stuff. choking itself out. Oh, right. we got another dog joining joining in. This big dog's tail's up, still wagging. Now, we're, now the owner's holding the dog again with the harness. The Frenchie's just walking around. This big dog is just losing it. What? We're telling them to get him. We're telling the Frenchie to get the big dog. The uh, little Frenchie, maybe, maybe some. Uh, hard to tell for sure what what the Frenchie's going after, because he's doing a little bit of like play ballet right. type movement, so he might be trying to play. Then you got this big dog not playing. No. Big dog tail up. Big dog tail wagging. We got just dominant. building frustration the whole time, holding right. this dog back. Right. And every time the dog gets close, he's like trying to grab it, but he's got the muzzle on. So I'm like, dude, if this muzzle was not here. Mm -hmm. Okay, we're in the house now. Frenchie's in the kennel, doing the same little little barky stuff he's doing. Big dog, still harness, still leash, still muzzle. Lots of tension, lots of uh, arousal, lots of dominance. So just not a good situation overall, but. Not a good way to I'll introduce just, yeah, dogs. Yeah, I'll just say it's not how you introduce dogs. So whatever their goal was here to introduce the dogs, there's a lot of uh, some some different uh, body signals yeah. going on. The big dog stays pretty consistent. 
He's got his leash on, harness on, tension the whole way. We got the muzzle, lots of tension. And uh, what you would ideally do is, number one, this big dog should not even be doing this. We're letting mm -hmm. him practice bad behavior. So you don't want to practice bad behavior. So whatever your dog practices is what it's going to keep doing. So get this big dog under control. Get some training on him. Teach him how to be submissive because he's being dominant right now. He's being aroused. Teach him how to be submissive. And then whenever you want to introduce him to a dog, take lots of walks together. Not going to happen in one day. Take lots of walks until you can tell that they're both being neutral to each other. So I mean, all this is doing, this is building up that frustration. Let's just say this is a scenario you're going to bring in these, this, this Frenchie into the home. They're going to live together. It's like you're not accounting for that. It's going to happen. That dogs, they're going to get access to each other, and that muzzle's right. not going to be on that big dog. And right. you've got countless scenarios like this building up his frustration. Mm -hmm. And when, he's get, when he gets that window, like he possibly is going to do some major damage oh, to this dog, do. He if will not kill it. You know? Yeah, the way that he's like biting through the muzzle at this dog. Mm -hmm. If he had a hold of that Frenchie, there'd be yeah. some major damage done. I mean, this is, gonna, this is a long process right here. I wonder if there's like a follow-up video to see if they ended up getting them good to go with each other. Yeah, someone commented, girl, Simba doesn't need a brother. He needs a trainer <laughs> ASAP. This isn't funny. I'm scared. Who's saying good boy? Yo, it's like why, all you, the same why are you saying good boy? Right. The, the encouragement for the aggression is wild. Yeah, oh, I mean, all these uh, people are on the same page. Yeah. I don't, I don't you know. <laughs> Holy cow, dude. I'm just, I'm just sitting here looking at this. All right, moving on. Introduce me to a dog trainer that can fix this, and I'll pay you whatever you want. Hmm. Okay. Who's this guy? You put, you put us in the comments. Good Lord. So we got well. a toy. Dog's got a toy on the uh, couch, and he's guarding the toy. And the lady keeps saying things to him. Right? So we're just amping up the behavior because he really doesn't understand verbal language. Mm -hmm. We're kind of, oh, you like your new toy? You got a new toy? He's, he's being super possessive. Not to mention this has been reinforced how many times before oh, yeah. you start to make a video about oh, it. Oh, yeah, 100%. So look at, I mean, if you look at this, this is kind of crazy. You see that blink? Mm -hmm. Blink, remember that definition terminology? <laughs> blink. Blinking. Blink, yeah. <laughs> right. So the blink, that's submissive. The blink is a submissive uh, body language, so this dog is actually <clears throat> confused. Dog's laying on the couch. He's not moving. He's stiff. He's rigid. Ears are slightly back. He is looking directly at the lady for the most part. Keeps teeth showing and, and uh, licking the muzzle, which is he's trying to pacify, which means he doesn't want conflict. Trying to say, like, keep away. I don't want conflict. Keeps licking the lips. Keeps showing the teeth. Ears are back. But I want to see this blink again, right? About here. There it is right there. Blink. So, again, another sign of the submissive submission. This dog doesn't want a conflict. This dog is confused. This dog is saying, hey, I'm being submissive. I'm being submissive. I don't want conflict. Trying to pacify the, the owner. Now, what happens when the owner continues to press this dog? One of two things happen. One, the dog flights where it moves away. But now the dog is tied to the item, the resource. Number two, the dog fights. So then the dog shows aggression toward the, uh, the person that's kind of moving toward them, which is the owner. So you got one or two options that are going to happen. Yeah, my guesstimate would be this dog would fight. Well, and, and the more you do that, the more that those submissive signals are ignored. Right. You know what I'm saying? The quicker that that dog goes to fight and learns that it works. Because what are you going to do? Everybody's going to back away mm -hmm. from that. Oh, crap. And they, they get bit or whatever. Right. That dog learns that strategy works for them gonna keep doing i mean at the end of the day that's that's not the the big part that needs that's the easy part to fix it's the mm -hmm. it's the person holding the camera that that really needs the oh, fixing yeah. uh in my opinion but yeah well if this is happening we'll, to we'll you fix, we'll fix the problem yeah if this is yeah yeah <laughs> bring him on over here we'll, we'll fix your dog and we'll fix you <laughs> yeah. but uh what's happening what i would do here my dog hey go spot yeah, yeah. come yeah, yeah. heal yeah. You know, I'd, I'd be giving some yeah. type of command to redirect the dog. And then there's a deeper structure, right? That's going to exactly. go like, hey, you're not going to get this. This ball is not going to, you're not going to be on the couch. You're not going to be, you're not going to get access to this ball. Right. You're going to be on a leash with me if we're walking from point A to point B. Mm -hmm. We got some other things to work on. You know what we I'm saying? We work on our relationship. Boom. If we can get our relationship good to go. Then you can have the ball again. Boom. You know what I'm saying? Let's read Bingo. some of these comments. This is what happened. This is a comment. This is what <laughs> happens when you don't discipline your dogs from an early age and treat them like human children. Good comment. Any trainer that handles resource guarding should be able to handle this. <laughs> yeah, pretty, pretty standard across the board should be able to be fixed. Oh, f that. He can keep the toy. <laughs> Hell no. 
Are you not? How are you not scared? I love dogs. They're my most favorite animal, but I will not have a dog I'm afraid of. My dog did this. She didn't get any more toys. Okay. No toy and couch allowed. Okay, good. Okay. He doesn't get that toy anymore. Okay, nice. As a dog trainer, this is what someone said. As a dog trainer, please do a vet check to make sure there's nothing physically wrong. Then hire behaviorists to work on resource guarding. I actually would flip that. Heart emoji. I would go go training route. Right. <laughs> training. Before, like, you could, uh, do the, you could have a vet check him out too, but yeah, the training that's is, not a medical is going to happen either Most way. Most likely that is not a medical thing. Oh, for sure. Oh, for sure. 99%. Yeah. All right, we got this next video. We got, it looks like a truck full of hay. Got some hay bales. Whoa. Oh, yeah, we got the strap. We got this collie. This <laughs> They're collie. trying to tie down the hay bales or something. Yeah. Oh, he's well, looks tying. Like he's, he's helping it, dude. He's tying down the hay he's bales. He's tying down the hay bales. Oh, he's no, he's playing tight. tug of war. He's playing tug of war. <laughs> he's keeping it tight so we can, he can oh, latch yeah. it in. Oh, now he runs over for something else. Get the, get the next one. Oh, yeah. He's helping. He is. Oh, yeah, he grabs That's it. That's a farm dog he pulls right it, there. Dude. Yeah, he's cinching it down so he can get the other side clipped. That's a collie, dude. That's a collie. And he's ready. Now he's going around. This is this is putting your dog to work right here. Mm -hmm. Legit incorporating your dog into your daily you know, routines. You know, this guy probably didn't even get a trainer for this. He just one day was throwing the straps yeah. over. He's like, oh, shoot. Yeah. That works. He's like, oh, I don't need my wife anymore to help me <laughs> cinch these straps down. <laughs> a great example incorporating your dog into your daily routine whatever that is whether it's a pet dog in, in your routine yeah. or you work on a farm and you need some help with your farm work i mean dogs are amazing you can use them for a number of things mm -hmm. look at this guy he's this dog's sleeping good at time. night you know that he's having a great time